All right, I'm testing the mic real quick.
All right, welcome to the stream, everyone. Okay, I'm going to be creating today. I'm going to be working on a project of mine. So, uh, if you've seen my channel, you might have seen that a while back now, I made a film, a short animation, based on Portal 2. Essentially, you know, just like a comedic, cartoony uh, recap of the story of Portal 2. And I'm going to be doing a similar thing, so same art style, same uh, just general idea, but with Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. Uh, and 5 now, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, but it's still very early on. I haven't even gotten all the designs in yet for characters. Um, so we're just gonna work on that today. Uh, be, feel free to provide feedback in the chat and to present ideas, but today's just gonna be chill and we're gonna have a good time. So without further ado, I'm going to open an image. So, uh, this picture here is what I'm working on. It is... Uh, just a character sheet. <laughs> right now, I got, you know, Spider-Man, 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 Peter Parker, <laughs> and, uh, started working on Doc Ock there. Um, I'm probably actually gonna ditch the character sheet, though, and, uh, just grab the, the Chell model from my Portal project and base uh, the majority of the characters off that model, uh, as that should go well. Okay. So I'm gonna open Blender, as you do. Okay, uh, just gonna make a new project. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the default cube. Then we're gonna add in a cube. Alright, then we gotta start working. So to start working, I'm going to find my blender projects full not blender projects i'm gonna go find my asset library it's important to have an asset library because then you don't have to make new things every time humans no not humans uh okay characters games there it is chill all right and let's hope that the model still works okay now something that i wish you could do with blender but it just doesn't seem to work is is just dragging in models. That's one thing I miss from uh, 3ds Max from when I was in school is being able to just drag in models. Also, ignore the fact that my taskbar is a little messy. It's not the messiest. We got it, it's not an impressive. We got you know uh, Streamlabs, uh, a server, <laughs> Minecraft server that's running. Uh, got software for controlling my uh, GPU fans, and uh, then we got just Discord, and uh, Opera, and File Explorer. Why am I even pointing it out? <laughs> that just seems a bit redundant of me. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to unpin message, and I'm going to put some message in the chat stream has started not started is started there we go i'm a slow typer <laughs> it's good though we're good got a healthy stream healthy audio i presume i don't know i can check real quick i have my phone here just for testing standards Yeah, the audio is good. I knew it. Okay, so uh, yeah, you got so you got to import, and then it's an FBX. Where's FBX? Okay, uh, I'm gonna move this so I don't accidentally uh, reveal any uh, confidential files. I don't know what confidential files there would be. 
on my computer. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, unless I have... Do I have any passwords written somewhere? I might have passwords written somewhere. Yeah, I don't want to show that. Okay. Uh, so I got to find my asset library. Okay, characters, games, chill, chill FBX. All right, let's hope it's not broken. Okay, the fact that it imported multiple <laughs> uh, is a bit worrying. And the angles, and don't know what's up with this armature over here. Um, seems a bit broken. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, why don't I just go ahead and, uh, you know, just undo all that. And I'm going to open... No, don't save. There's no reason to save. Come on, just stop opening over there. <laughs> I'm going to go find my portal project. Actually, it might be an open recent. Uh, yeah, there, there it is. Don't save. There we are. Open recent. Hey, and look at that. We have a perfectly good shell model right here. Is it shell or shell? I never know. And, uh, there seems to just be some bones on the ground. <laughs> what is that even part of? Hold up. What is even selected? Well, besides, you know, obviously an armature. Isn't is it even parented to anything? It's not even does it even move anything if I go into not um uh, yeah, pose mode. Here, let me look at the whole scene. Oh that bone is apparently for a master hand. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty fun. Okay, either way, we don't need that, and honestly, I don't even need the, I don't need the version of Chell with the, with the hair in the air. Um, you know what, I think I'm actually going to heavily base, uh, Mary Jane 3D model off Chell, because, um, Mary Jane and Spider-Man PS4, all, all I really have to do is just slight, you know, color changes of things, make the hair redder, um, give a different outfit, and uh, then I think it's pretty much good to go. So, yeah, that just seems good like that. Alright, so I'm going to re-export this model. Come on, just select. Why won't it select? Oh, it's because I'm in pose mode. I'm an idiot. Alright. There we go. Make sure we have nothing we don't want selected, selected. In fact, I'm even just going to select the armature. Why did I make these many armatures, not just one? I don't know. Seems inefficient. Oh, and I think the different parts of the models, yeah, are actually, like, separate. Not the brightest. Why does it move by over here? Oh, because apparently I have tiny Wheatley selected. If you're wondering, when Wheatley goes on the moon in my portal film, if you've seen it, <laughs> it's actually just a tiny Wheatley. Uh, I mean, great start. We got missing textures all around. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we got uh, GLaDOS and Wheatley here over from the side. You know, I just like looking at this project. However, this project is not efficient, I would say, because um, I wish I could uh, go back and re-render this project. As uh, This portal project in particular was very uh, uh, hurt by YouTube compression and just compression in general. Because uh, having a lot of, like, uh, flat-colored backgrounds really hurt it um so yeah my why does my mouse feel super sensitive all of a sudden didn't do anything 
yeah, and when I t pan the camera, it goes all the way back here, rather than panning on the object I want it to. Just trying to make sure everything I want selected is selected and nothing else. And that appears to be the case. Okay. So now, when I'm going to go back to my shell file, my shell FBX, just delete it. There's no point in having it when it's not even good. Okay, so I'm going to export. Um, I'm trying to remember. What's better, a GLTF or an FBX? You know, I, you know I'll just export it as both. <laughs> not at the same time. I'd have to do it separately. Hey, that would be a nice feature to add. Okay. Geometry. Armature. Do not add leaf bones. Okay. And then limit to selected objects. That's how we do it. Okay. Going to just export that is shell and that's not even the right folder hold up I need to find my asset library again all the just going back and forth between folders i wish i could just click on my file browser yeah all these things i'm saying are just things i should just add to blender that would be just make it great all right okay And now let me open another instance of Blender rather than exiting the current one. It'll be fine. Okay. And we're going to delete the default cube. Actually, might as well just delete everything. There's no point in having it right now. Uh, and we're going to import FBX. Why is it what? Why does it always go to documents? Then again, where else would it go? So, asset library, characters, games, shell. Here we go. Is it shell or shell? I always get it wrong. Okay. So the armature seems to be sideways <laughs> and a bit broken. I honestly don't understand why that is. And, uh,. Textures um, just seem to be gone. So I don't know entirely what's up with that. So I'm just going to actually, no, I don't need to exit this Blender file because I'll just open another one anyway. So instead, I am going to just re export this. Okay, everything selected. All right. Oh, no, another thing, I'm pretty sure Tiny Wheatley is lower poly, like it's, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I don't like that when you zoom in, it like doesn't zoom in as much, it doesn't want to zoom in as much. And I'm like trying to pan here, it just doesn't want to pan. So, it's like I gotta move to the object here. Let me pan around, why isn't it panning around the object? I'm pretty sure Wheatley here, if I go to my, cons not constraint, modify. Yeah, I can see it in the side. So it also has a subsurface uh, modifier. Nothing like missing textures, you right. Um, however, this, this model, uh, I didn't subdivide it as much as the big one because it's so small on the screen anyway. It doesn't need to be as smooth. Uh, so right now I'm trying to just export shell <laughs> so I can use it, reuse the model. However, uh, it doesn't like being exported apparently. <laughs> okay, um, ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if... Oh wait, never mind here what if I do move to new collection 
I just named this collection character. All right. So where's the character collection that I just made? Here it is. And it will just have everything I need. Going to export that as I'm going to try a GLB slash GLTF file instead this time. All right. Asset library again. Characters, games, shell. Alright. Alright, there we go. Include limit to selected objects. Oh, I can't limit it to uh collection with the uh, GLTF. Interesting. Oh, there's different. So there's GLTF bin binary, which is dot GLB, GLTF embedded, which is dot GLTF. There's GLTF separate, which is dot GLTF plus dot bin plus textures, which I think just exports every aspect of the model individually. Um, I'm going to go with the thing for now. with uh, the default one. And I'm going to go to transform. Where's, is there no uh, armature data? Does it not, does it not export the armature? Uh, what happens if I change the selected? Does that change the things? Okay, um, I don't know. I'll just export it, see what happens. <laughs> worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna have to export it again. So, import! Uh, GLTF. Gotta find the folder once again. Characters. Games. Chill. And it's even more broken than the last one. Hey, this one seems to have some sort of texture. <laughs> um, not sure why it's gray like that. Yeah, let's try turning down the strength. Oh, that's very strange. Why is she white? <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> Um, yeah, that doesn't work either. Okay, uh, select everything, delete it. <sighs> I'll get this right eventually. Should have just made a better model to begin with. Alright, back to this blender. Alright, so now I'm just going to, why did I do that? Just uh, have all that selected. Export <laughs> GLTF change the change the type. Let's try the next type. Limit to selected object. Alright. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. It's easier the second time. I just went to the same blender again. Oh yeah, I can't drag and drop. Why can't I? Mm. They need to make it so you can just drag and drop. Hey, at least it remembered which folder I was in this time. And same thing. Same thing. Once again, same thing. Huh. What am I supposed to do about that? Right. Maybe GLTF isn't the best format for this then.
thing is, I can't really do OBJ because OBJs are just awful. <laughs> uh, I I just don't care for OBJs. They they don't like me, and I don't like them because um, you get you get the model, and that's essentially it. You don't really get any textures. You don't really, or if if you do find an OBJ, yeah, you don't get any textures. You don't get any animation data. You don't get any armatures, um, export FBX. This will work. Actually, why would that work? I didn't even change any of the settings. Here, I'm not even going to try that one. I'm just going to go back to the export menu. FBX. Right, limit to active collection. I don't know what that even does exactly. Oh wait, that also selects pose data. Uh, hold up. So if I do limit to active collection, yeah, you know, let's do cancel. And let's just hide every collection, and also give me more stuff. There we go. Let's just. Get all these collections to be inactive. Except the one I want. Now I'm not going to save when I exit the portal project. Because I don't want to break anything. Because <laughs> breaking things is a specialty of mine. Okay, that's not entirely true. All right, so it appears every collection except the collection I want is hidden. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna select the collection and everything in the collection. Right, you know, I'll just limit to active collection. Here, what? Here, let me just. I want to select everything in the collection. I also want the pose data, is the thing. What did I just do? Oh, I just went to camera. There we are. I mean, the camera view is going to get a better view of Gel. You know, it actually looks like a model there. All right, going to file, export. FBX, active collection, All right, what's operator presets, I don't know, okay, uh, do, 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 do. geometry, export subdivision surface, I don't even know if I have that, Bake animation. I don't even think there is animation. But uh, we'll see. See what happens. Alright. Import. Hmm. Append from a library.blend file. Maybe I should try that. <laughs> if this just won't work. Thing is, I just really want child.fbx to work. That wouldn't make my day, because it would make things a lot easier. Okay. Um, desktop, asset library, characters, games, chill. Chill.fbx. Where's the model? Oh, great. Where's the model? Hold on. If I open it in 3D Viewer... Oh, great. There's absolutely nothing. Good job exporting nothing. Got a full four kilobytes of nothing. Unbelievable. Gonna be filling up my recycle bin. And the dog's gonna bark. Hang on. Hang
Okay, I'm back. Alright. Got the dog settled. And I got a phone call during that anyway, so it's good. We're good now. What was I doing? Trying to export a model. Uh, yeah, let's just select all in Blender. Can we also get the pose data? Select all. Wait, why is... Oh. And I'm being called. Alright, we're good. We're good. Don't have to go to an intermission. All right, gotta make sure all these are good. I'm just going to try something. I'm going to just make sure all of these are fully out fully extended to their full ability and I am just going to select all of them manually because when I do select all it only wants to select the models and I want the rest of the data as well and it, yeah it's a lot of data but it's good data oh here's where we get to all the bones oh but that's why i have so many armatures it does make it a little bit easier but also more complicated than it needs to be at the same time like why do i have to do all that port planning really i wish i had the scale of chill because i can just Get, uh, actually, hold up. Well, here's the thing. I wanted to reuse Chell's model for, uh, Mary Jane. Especially because, I, I, the main reason is just because I don't want to have to remodel the hair. <laughs> and, and the hair was the funkiest part to model. <laughs> but, yeah. Um. Yeah. Just. I don't want to remodel the hair. Because <laughs> cause I do have a picture of Chell I could just drag into a Blender and base all new models off of, but I don't want to have to remodel the hair. <laughs> and since there's a character in the new story who will have hair just like that, it is. It would be nice if I can just not have to deal with making it again. I mean, it wasn't hard or anything, it was just tedious, if that makes any sense. Alright, now I gotta scroll all the way up to the top. There. And I believe, just double checking, I have selected everything to do with, with Shell, or Shell, or whatever she's called. Uh, Yell. <laughs> I don't know.
Larry. That's not her name. <laughs> I hear a dog out the window. Not window. Door. I hope the dog's not out the window. I'm on the second floor. Okay. Limit to selected objects. Acted active collection. Alright, we're going to get armature. What is that? Yeah, I don't even know what the node type even means. Alright, we're gonna yeah. What's loose edges? Oh, okay. Right. Let's see. What do we got here? Okay. Let's try that. Those settings. Do another import. Import FBX. Select model. And, I mean... I mean, this is like... To be honest, this is a lot like the model I started with. Right. Okay, at this point I'm going to try appending. Here's the thing, I don't remember how to append. So... Yeah, that's going to be fun, I guess. Blender projects. Portal stuff. Portal project. Uh, armature? No. No. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, uh, this haunts me. Did... Hmm. I don't really need the materials, but I, I do need the... The character. Font. Yes, totally. Link the font, Arial MT. It's it's uh absolutely crucial. Uh maybe object. Right. That is too many objects. Alright, let me try head, leg. <laughs> um wouldn't be eyelids because that's for uh that's for what's his face Wheatley. All right, just going to start at the top. Arm. Armature. Oh wait, actually, I have no idea which armature I'm selecting, so I'm just not going to select the armature. Okay, body. Need body. So I got arms, body. Uh, I could select bird. No, don't need bird. Eyes. Head, that's important. Legs, mouth. I believe that's all I really need, append. Oh, wait, hold up. That worked like stunningly. Oh, what? What? D does it even work? Like if I do Control Tab. Oh wow. Oh, that's great. Well, I should have just done that from the beginning. I should do. I should append more often. That is so much easier. Instead of having an asset library, I should just put all my Blender files into the asset library. Actually, I could have that on top of the asset library. Alright. What happens if I try exporting this model now? Have to be in object mode. Select all. Here, let's go back to the file. Delete the current FBX. And export, the, export it as a GLTF. Alright, include. Select. Limit to selected objects. Transform geometry. Yeah, whatever. Whatever it's called. Gonna just desktop. Not care not creative. What even is creative? 
Oh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Actually, it's probably just limiting stuff. Characters. Uh, games. Shell. Shell. There we are. Try exporting that. And then here we're going to hide this. We're going to import. Okay, it's still broken when I try to export it. Which isn't exactly nice, but you know, at least I got one that does work as needed. So, uh you know, actually, here here's an idea. Seeing that this blender file is just uh chell, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Save. Why? Why am I looking for save? I can just do Control S. Instead of saving it to Blender files, I'm going to save it to Asset Library and to Characters. Shell. There we go. So now we have a perfectly good file to append from in my Asset Library. I can just use at any time. I can not save portal project. And now it's just time to get to work. So what did I just open? I accidentally opened Streamlab support. All right. Hey, I got a like. I didn't like it. Maybe I should like my own video. I've done that before. I have no shame in it. Okay. <sighs> I... What am I gonna do? Get to work. Alright. Need... Storyboard and script. Alright. So here we are. We got our storyboard and script. I say our, but it's mine. I made it. Uh, and I will get upset if somebody steals it <laughs> for their own use without telling me actually even with telling me I wouldn't want people stealing my work it's like I I, I worked on it all right uh, okay so I just need oh wait those aren't good character sheets those are just like things so here here's an even better idea just go to Google I'm gonna open Blender, start a new project, delete, delete everything, don't need it, and I'm going to append from, not that, alright, uh, ciao. Just need object append. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. I think the dog's at the door. Should I let them in? I should probably let them in, shouldn't I? Because then they might freak out if I don't. Yeah, I'll let them in quick. Hold on. Okay, the dog should be able to come in. I opened the door, and I called them. Okay. All right. Well, time to start work. I guess first model I'm going to be making is just uh, Mary Jane. 
I just press zero to go to camera. Don't need camera, we just need a front view. And actually while we're at it we'll just I'll just add a camera. Camera. All right. Gonna then control alt zero to move the camera to me. And change the camera to orthographic to get it, you know, uh, you know, to be orthographic rather than perspective. All right. Uh, can hide it though for now. So yeah, let's just hide the camera. Don't need to see it. All right. Uh, shouldn't unhide the armature. I shouldn't hide the armature because it doesn't hide at all. Because I made this model very weirdly. Oh, here comes the dog. I can close the door now. I just don't feel like it. Um, I mean, I want to, but I don't feel like it. It's a predicament, dang it. Okay, so I'm going to go to Google Images. Now I just got to find here. I'm actually going to open the stream website. And I say stream website, I mean uh, uh, where I get copyright free music. Just add it to my bookmarks because I literally made the account while I was starting the stream. So. That's just so I can just have easy access to it without having to actually look it up. Alright, alright, so I just need Mary Jane Watson PS4. Just need an image so I can get the outfit. Okay, so she has different models, but for the most part, she wears the same outfit. And I'm in, she, uh, in my storyboard, she's a minor character, cause, so I'm not. Even, I'm just gonna have the one model. And and another thing is like my uh, uh like in the game, the story sets up for a sequel and for like a whole universe, but. I intentionally made my uh, shorter, condensed version of the story with a more comedic tone to uh, not set up for a, a sequel. So we it's just like uh, necessary story beats because uh, it's a long, well, relatively long game. Uh, longer than Portal 2, that's for sure, with more stuff in it. So, yeah, kind of kind of want it to be shorter right um uh, so yeah if i here here's the thing i i i don't want the armature here but i also don't want to hide it like that because that gets rid of everything cuz yeah then in edit mode i can't even see anything i oh, did it up apply the thing it applied the subdivision that's okay i actually think i want to subdivide a little bit more for this project as i'm probably gonna render it in 4k because and that's simply for the reason that um youtube doesn't compress 4k video as much and it's gonna be with ev render so the render times shouldn't be awful. Uh, okay. So yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna have her with her brown jacket because she wears that quite a bit through the game. I just got a Twitch notification. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> All right. Yes, brown outfit. I would. Why isn't? Mm. 
I wish there was just a it's just a not zoomed in shot. Just need to see the outfit. I mean, there's like deviant art stuff, but I don't need that. Alright. What color is our shirt? Um. Uh, let's see. Honestly, this piece of like Spider Man fan art is probably the best one to go off of. Okay, so for one, just going to here. I'm gonna rename this texture to uh, if not, I'm just gonna do MJ Hair. And why is that skin dot four? It can just be skin. Yeah, and I'll do dot zero zero one instead, because people do have different skin tones, so I can't just use one skin for all. That's racist, and I'm not racist. All right, let's see what's up. Ah. <sighs> So her arms are a bit skinny, not going to lie, but I believe that will be fine. And the legs have to be changed entirely, because instead of having shorts with, like, lawn fall boots, uh, yeah, it might be better for me to just get a front view. Uh, go to x-ray. Oh, that's a problem right there. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just want the top part of the legs. Oh, wait. Oh, they're one model. Oh, uh, it's probably going to break the skinning. You know, fortunately, I don't think that's much of an issue, as I believe for all my shots, I don't actually need her to walk at all. And if she's just standing still, I can get away with a messier rig. Oh, I do need her sitting for one shot, though. So that's an issue. So I can't, I can't let it be broken entirely. YouTube thinks my audio bit rate is zero, but I know for a fact that that is wrong. Okay. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to edit the legs. And we're just going to instead of going to x-ray mode. Come on. Just going to precision. All right. Not, not that way. Not that way. Come on. Ah, what I do? And then we're going to grab... That one, that one, did that grab up the side? No, I don't think it did. It's hard to tell because the orange color that does for the outline with the orange from the actual pants right now are make it a little bit difficult. So then I believe I can just, uh, come on. G. Bring that down. Okay, that looks kind of ridiculous. I need to go inside the model. Because I need to see the top of the legs. Because I believe they are messy models. Yeah. Not round it off at the top. That makes it a little bit easier.
All right. Come on, I don't want it that direction. There we go. That's not what I wanted. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Looking cool, Joker. This ain't Smash. Gonna bring it to the front. That's not what I wanted. Why can't models just behave? They say CG is easy because it listens to you. But, uh, not always. Alright, go back. Just gonna scale this on everything except Z. Just scale it down. Uh, that's a bit of an issue right there. I believe I should just do one leg at a time because if I do both, well, it brings the legs close together. Can't have that. Alright, uh, okay. It's time to reselect everything, my favorite, right? There, it was much nicer that time. Alright. Now, scale that on everything but Z. There we go. Then we're just gonna rotate it on... What was that, Y? Yeah, rotate that on Y, just like that, and there we go, that looks nice. I realize I never actually paid attention to how much I scaled it, <laughs> so these are, are not going to be perfectly symmetrical, but you know what, I don't care. <laughs> Because one thing, if you want to produce an animation quickly, you got to learn not to be so nitpicky about the finer details. Because something's only going to be seen for a few seconds in an animation, as long as it looks good enough for that, nobody cares. I mean, you think that would be obvious, but... Surprisingly, no. I mean, the person who's really gonna know is all the thing, everything, is just gonna be yourself. Nobody else notices anything except, you know, yourself. Person making it. And that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Now I have a funky camera angle. Hold up. There we go. Rotate that on Y. Yeah, this one actually looks a little bit smaller than the other leg. So I'm going to just skill it. Up just a tad. Alright, then rotate it on Y. And that's just me eyeballing it. It's not perfect measurement. It still looks smaller. But yeah, it's it's good. Alright, I'm gonna one change it to MJ pants. And now I just am going to change the color. Oh yeah, it's like red, but it shows up orange because of the emission texture. So now I just need to get it blue. As I believe it was blue jeans, yeah. So yeah, that, <laughs> that's that. That looks wrong. I'm sorry, that just looks wrong. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Okay, there's not even a. The only reason there's even like a thing here.
we're going to slide that, move that to there. There we go, to make it more symmetrical. I'm going to go one for vertice mode, select all, and merge vertices. There we go. Now that should be cleaner. You know what though, I'm going to actually add one row there and scale it out just a tad. There we go, that looks nice. That's a that's a good model right there. All right. We're gonna have to add sleeves to the arms, but I'm probably just gonna retexture part of the arm rather than actually adding sleeves. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that looks much better. Uh I'm still gonna lower it even more though. These pants don't mean that. Also, it appears the shirt and shoes have the same texture. Do I want to lower it that much? No, I kind of like it being a little bit high. Uh, take that as you will. What on earth is EVGA Precision X1? Hold up. I should... Oh, Boneworks. Here, let me open Steam. I don't want I I want to uh settings come on stop That's a problem Okay and I want to Okay, what do I want to do? I want to go offline on Steam, or at least not show stuff. Hmm. I have no idea how to do that. Okay. Either way, never mind about that. This, oh, wait, even better idea. Just close Steam. There we go. That does. That does it. All right. Uh, okay. I cannot use shirt and shoes for the same texture. I can use. Here's what I can do though. Jacket and shoes. More importantly, MJ jacket and shoes. Because even though I'm cutting a lot of characters out of this, I still, like compared to the game, I'm still going to be making a lot more characters than I ever have before. So there we go. That's that's that. Looks good. All right here. Uh. Hmm. I wish I could have a picture in picture in picture mode, not a video in picture in picture mode. Because something with Opera GX is you can have picture in picture, so if you're like playing a game or you only have one monitor or something, uh, or you're busy in a tab but you still want to view a video, you can uh, just cut the video, put it in its own little window that you can move around and rescale and everything. And it's great. Uh, not sponsored by Opera GX, but recommend the browser. You have, force, you have auto dark mode, uh, which you can enable or disable, which tries to make dark mode for web, for like websites that don't have it, and it works on, for the most part. Uh, there are some compatibility issues, but the, that's why you can disable it <laughs> at, uh, as a simple right click and disable. Yeah. Why am I advertising something? I'm not even getting paid to advertise. Yeah, uh, built in ad blocker and VPN. Uh, however, the VPN hasn't really worked for me. That's probably m my own fault. 
or something. I don't know. I, I think I'd have to reinstall Opera for it to work. Because it seems to work with everyone else I know who has Opera GX, but... Uh, yeah, and it worked at first for a little bit. Like, I, I think it works on my laptop, so yeah, it's probably just a case of I need to reinstall the browser. But I don't feel like it, and I'm not really bothered to. Okay, so she has a a brown jacket. So here, here, let me go to the side here. <laughs> oh my goodness, the face. It's awful. Here. Side view. We're just going to... Select everything. Up to here. But then we're just going to... Remove stuff from the selection just like that. Actually, we're going to want to remove more than that, but... Hmm. It might actually be smarter to just use texture painting. Not going to lie. You know, it's it's fine. It should be good. All right. There we go. That looks good. All right. You know what? Tell you what. I what am I even doing? I'm selecting, but I actually want to invert selection, but not entirely. So here, let me just select everything at the bottom now. There we go. Now I want to. Select invert because I'm making a new texture. I'm going to assign the new texture just like that. There we go, that looks good. So, here, uh Emission textures, they're okay. All right. Uh, wouldn't a tune BSDF just be better, or do tune BSDFs react to light? So if I do something like that and I change the lighting, they do react to light quite substantially, actually. And I can't have that. I want I want the so yeah, I kinda have to use a wait, what is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a mission textures. Because emission textures, they like to ignore light because of course they ignore light, they are light. Create a strength of five. Oh my goodness, that's bright. Oh, but it looks nice, especially with the black. I'm I just made like a Doctor Doofenshmirtz outfit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, uh, what color is the shirt? Uh, the shirt actually should have been brighter, like it was. That's a, that's actually a good color. Maybe add a little bit of a tint to it. But not a lot. All right. Okay. Uh, MJ shirt. And actually, I'm probably gonna do texture paint for the MJ shirt texture. 
because I want it to have the scarf as well. Which I could always just make a separate object that might actually be smarter. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I can just go to jacket and shoes. Now I have no idea what color his shoes are, but... You know, I think they... Yeah, they actually are brown, so... Looking at that, I can... I can just change this color, just... Alright. Need the picture up. Hey, that looks good right there. That looks nice. It's an, that's a good outfit right there. Also, uh, here, I'm going to grab one more layer of these going all the way down. There we go, and I'm just going to assign shirt texture to that because, you know, keep in mind, this is all going to be viewed from the front like a 2D view. So even though this is a 3D animation, the model is so weird looking because it's only meant to be viewed from 2D. I need to make her hair different. Uh, okay. Just like that, pretty much, actually. Here, let's try get into the. Let's try to get the color down best I can. Because when you make it dark, it just becomes brown. I think that's good. Yeah, the skin actually looks very pale in t compared to the rest of it. Oh, wait, hold up. What kind of uh, color management is this using? SRGB. I think SRGB is correct, too, for this project. Because I have different color management things. However, the way I switch between them isn't just by switching between them. In Blender, I actually have to go into the Blender program files and change out the color management for uh, either the default or aces and then I have backups of both so I can easily switch them at any time based on the project um ooh how would this look in aces it would probably break but redoing these textures wouldn't be that hard because there's not a lot of textures right now wait what's this material there's just material, the default material. So here, if I save this then as a Blender project, PS4 stuff, I'm just going to call this Spider-Man. There we go. And I can just exit this for now. And I lost my train of thought. Great job, Sam. Oh yeah, I need to find... I need to find... The... I need to find the Blender program files. So that should be, I believe, on my SSD. That arm's supposed to go to documents. It's been a while since I've done this. Alright, uh, okay. Blender program. I, oh, uh, SSD program file. Blender. Yeah, there we go. I need to update my Blender. 
data files. Yes, color management. All right, going to delete the current color management. Then going to copy and paste Ace's color management. All right, and then open the blend file. Now that I have redone the color management. Ooh, this is different. But honestly, this isn't bad. I think the skin looks better already. I haven't even messed with it. So here... Oh, yeah. Messing with colors and uh, Ace's color management is a bit harder. But I think that right there looks good actually that's a little bit yellow that's like very yellow that's better maybe uh i don't know it's it's a lot of like very specific tweaking Let's try something like that, and then tweak the values. Let's try just four. And I think that looks quite outstanding, if I do say so myself. All right, I gotta change the hair. The hair is a bit bad. Because it needs to be. She has red hair. So yeah, like about there, but Nia make it. Brighter, but not that bright. Saturation. Uh, let's try nine. Q, let's try wait zero one five. Oh, I can't do that. It wants to do point zero one three instead. Cause sure why not? And let's just find a good value and I think that looks very good. Alright, uh the brown on the jacket though is very dark. Like, look at that, you can't even see it. There we go, that's much better. Uh, actually, maybe a less red type of brown, so. Just a little bit less red. There we go. And honestly, I could use that for like Peter's hair and stuff. That same color. Um. So yeah, actually, here. I'm just going to change this color to brown. <laughs> Good enough. And... Yeah. Now, she actually has some green coming out from the bottom of the jacket, it looks like. So, if I just 
go here. So I need a new texture now, new uh, emission. Change the strength. Don't know why the pants have 4.7, but then the rest have 5. I don't know, it's uh, quite the thing, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, anybody joining, by the way, I am working on a Blender project. I am working on uh, a very stylized, if you can tell by the design here, uh, thing for uh, based on Spider-Man for the PS4. Now I'm making a Mary Jane model because I'm actually able to edit for instead of making a new model from scratch, I'm able to just edit my uh, uh, shell model for a Portal 2 project that I did. Alright. Uh, gonna make this new texture. A bit green. Gonna focus on the details later. But for now, green is good. And it's just coming out of the bottom of the jacket. Yeah, it just goes all the way around for the most part. So if I just select everything there, but then deselect that, oh. Then I can just assign just like that. Now I need to just get the shade of green in. Needs to be significantly darker. And less saturated. It's actually way too saturated right now. Here. Let's try some 0.420. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's a good shade of green right there. And you're like, oh, why is it so much darker there than it is there? And that's because it's just an emission texture, and that's what emission textures are like. That's a very nice shade right there at 2.2. Let's try three. Three actually matches the picture I'm looking at very well. Um, that's a great looking model there. Still need to uh, do the sleeves for the jacket. Uh, keep forgetting them. Why do I go to edit mode and it's just like that? Is it like that with the other arm too? It is, but the arm actually moves. Strange. That seems a little broken. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. Oh wait, now it's working. Oh wait, that's because I selected edit mode on the thing. On the armature, not on the arm <laughs> okay so it appears here's what I can do I can just not not that select both armatures not armatures just the arms one is swinging more than the other interesting all right I'm just going to select that Move it down to about there. Let's see. What is that? Uh, 896. Let's just do 0.89. There we go. 789. That's why 6 is afraid of 7. All right. 0.89. And that's just so we you know, have specific values on both things. So. Now, I just gotta select everything. Ah, come on. There we go, looking good. Looking good, if I do say so myself, which I do. Sometimes you gotta be happy with your own work. Okay, maybe the skin is very pink. It might be very pink. I don't know. 
I think it looks good. I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided yet if it's good or not. And now looking at the hair, I'm not sure what I think of it. Hmm. Oh, wait, it's everything looks different when you're in edit mode, though. More, more desaturated. Um. All right, I want to add a texture and just want to add brown and a sign. Why isn't that assigned to both? I mean, it's not a problem. I can just select the one arm. Oh, because I need to add the texture to both. Assign. That looks real good. So, yeah. Well, I think that model might just be just about done then. Here, let me find a picture here of my shell model or shell or whatever she's called i'll never get it right saved pictures okay i have no idea where i have a picture of of a shell oh i have the thumbnail from my portal 2 project hmm that's a nice thumbnail It wouldn't be in memes. <laughs> um. Ah, screenshots. So this is the model I just edited. Let's try to get it to a scale that matches better. About that scale, looks right. Well, apparently I can't mess with that much. Yeah, that, that looks about right. Okay, yeah, this skin, I mean, yeah, Shell is very pale, or at least on this monitor. I do realize now that I have two monitors with different color settings. Let me see how this looks on the second monitor. Yeah, that's way too pink. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wanna let's get that hue up. I wanna see it on both monitors because my second monitor is gonna represent what most people will see a bit more as it's uh LCD rather than IPS. So if I just get that up. Here, I'm just going to edit it while on my second monitor. There we go. Yeah, now it looks pale again. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. It is fine. So then I open shell and just bring her over and yep still less pale than what shell is on this model on uh, yeah I, I mean on this um not model monitor but yeah that looks good I'm I kind of want to mess with the hair just a little bit more Maybe a little bit darker. The thing is, now that it's too, so dark, now it looks red. I mean, brown. Now that looks good. It looks good. Alright. I've been streaming for a while. Uh, so, I believe with that, I've been streaming for an hour. 46 minutes about, well, 
about 47 minutes, and so I should just be good to end the stream pretty quickly here. I got a bit of work done. Actually, here I might. Hmm. I don't actually think she needs a scarf. Call me crazy, but I think she looks recognizable and clear without the scarf. So I don't think I'm going to add it. So, yeah, I got a character done. It's been a while since I've worked in Blender, so maybe it wasn't the fastest I could have worked. I actually want to check the rigging real quick. On the legs specifically, I just open caps lock. You know what? That looks fine, because I need her to sit in one shot. Now, yeah, that's broken, but I don't actually need her to bend her legs at all. That sounds a little bit wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for sitting down, I, I can do that. No problem. Okay. So with that, I'm going to unhide everything. Alt-H. Why isn't Alt-H working? Alt-H. Come on, do I have to have that open? Stupid camera, why aren't you unhiding? There. Alt-H didn't do it, but here, if I do hide, if I select the camera. Why can't I select the camera? I'm in pose mode, that's why. So now, Alt-H should work, right? Yeah. There we go. Uh, so with that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be ending the stream. So, yep, yeah, gonna save. And in the next stream, I'll probably either be playing a game or just continuing work on my project. So I hope you all just have a great time now. See ya.